Damn, I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew! What's up guys? Sergeant R6. It's not really Mountain Dew, it's actually coffee. I'm on a basically empty stomach. I didn't eat much today. I don't know why, but I'm super hungry right now. I need food. Food. Food, 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 food. Anywho, it's starting to sprinkle. It's a cold ass day today, which really sucks. It was super nice yesterday, and then really cold today. I don't know, I think it's like 50 something. But right now, I'm freezing my ass off. I just got my sweatshirt and my vest on. <laughs> and tomorrow's supposed to be 70 and sunny. I don't get it. That's that's my area for you. It'll be raining one minute, super hot the next, and sunny. But to get to what I want to talk about today, uh, the first part is response to DeFobra's video that he came out with this morning, talking about stupid questions. And he was saying that it's actually not stupid questions, but stupid people asking the questions. To that, I don't really get questions very often. I get statements. Some of the questions that I get, though, are like on a, on a really nice day, people will ask me, did you ride the bike in today? <laughs> it's like, of course I rode the fucking bike in today. It's like 80 and sunny out. There's zero clouds in the sky. Why would I not ride my bike in today? Let's see, what else do I get? Also, when there is a chance of rain, people will say, I hope you didn't ride the bike in today. It's supposed to rain. Usually when they say that, it's maybe 40% chance of rain. And around this area, you never really know. You'd have no warning whatsoever. It could be sunny all day, then all of a sudden it just dark clouds and downpour. Also over the winter, earlier in the year, I was riding quite a bit, maybe once a week. I get people, saying to me is that your bike out there that i see are you the crazy one that's riding in today it's like yeah i'm the crazy one if you if you owned a motorcycle you'd know it's more than just riding it's a freaking lifestyle and an amazing one at that some people just don't understand it that's usually what i get the fobra not so much questions but more statements i guess you know some of them are questions but yeah the other thing I want to talk about is this weekend I am going hiking with my father to the Adirondacks. I'm not sure which mountain we're going to climb. I just know that it's going to be roughly four to 5,000 feet. We are driving out there Friday during the day. Deuce. Is that like a tennis reference or a cards reference? Did somebody just screech behind me? I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I just heard tires squealing. I don't know if that was behind me or what. Anyway, I'm going hiking in the Adirondacks. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to bring my camera. Hopefully, I can get some cool shots. Like I said, about four to 5,000 feet. We're going to hike up, I think, early morning. I think we'll be down probably by mid to late afternoon. Oh, bump. Drive out Friday, hike Saturday, and then drive back on Sunday. This is going to be the first time that I've gone hiking up a big hill like that. I've gone to Ithaca Falls around my area. Pretty cool little thing. It's just like waterfalls and you can you can kind of hike up them. It's going to be the first time that I'm really hiking like this. I got I got new shoes for it. I'm wearing them right now. I'm trying to break them in. Got them two days ago on clearance for like 65 bucks. They're a pair of Merrells. So I couldn't beat it. Also, um, thank you so much for everyone that bought a shirt I closed the campaign early so I can get the shirts by the end of the month actually after I hit the button to end the campaign within five minutes after ending the campaign Mark S4303 sends me a text with a <laughs> with a picture that he got <laughs> saying congratulations the campaign has ended your shirt is now being printed and shipped <laughs> I, was like, I was like I know dude oh it was funny you had to be there so yes again thank you everybody so much for buying a shirt those of you who did if you didn't you can all go to hell i'm just kidding do not take that seriously i still appreciate you guys watching my videos and supporting me in any way that you can i'm not sure if or when i'll ever do a t-shirt campaign again so if i can maybe come up with another design 
something like that. I cannot see behind these cars. Oh, they repaved this road. Fantastic. If and when I do, I will definitely let you guys know. I do still have stickers available. Please click the link below. It'll take you to my square page and you can buy stickers. $3 for everything. I have one chrome left, which is $4. And that'll be it. I got plenty of, others, uh, plenty of other stickers. Did I say that right? I have plenty of other stickers. I don't know. Whatever. I got a good amount of them. So please grab a handful. That'd be great. Hey, anybody out there who, uh, who has stickers, if they want to do a sticker trade, leave me a comment or direct message me on YouTube. And if I don't respond with it to you within like a day, you can hit me up on Facebook or on Instagram. I usually get those notifications pretty quick. I do check everything every day. So anybody who wants to do a sticker trade, wants me to rep their shit on my windshield, please go ahead and let me know and we'll hook it up. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this a little better than Tuesday's video, which was supposed to be Monday's, but yeah. Okay, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Catch you later. Peace.